Let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test Good morning, River Stones. We're cruising down the road towards the mighty Pro River. I don't know how much you can actually see out there, but it's snowing like a mother. Been raining snow all night. Been slid off the road three times now. It's usually about a three hour drive. Probably turning into three and a half today. Struggling to do 55 even. Rolling north on 51. It's uh, March 31st, I believe. Just so happens that uh, me and Coleman went here on the same weekend last year. And actually last year, I think I had to stay up all night doing homework. It was my last year of college. And I drove through the night with no sleep to be here at sunup. And me, Coleman, he was already up at parole. I'd been fishing the day before. And uh, yeah, it was also an ice storm on the way up last year. But I'm a little bit more rested this year, and with any luck, when we catch this car, we'll get the hell out of the way so we can keep her pushing. Gotta at least be able to do 55. Sorry. We're halfway to the rule, folks, but we got a pit stop here. Unfortunately, the canoe. Is and, not gonna make it. <laughs> and Coleman's truck are staying at the wayside. Look at that tire. It is cocked at a 20 degree or something shit like that. It's Bad gone. wheel bearing, we're thinking. But either way, Coleman's rim oh, is. <laughs> we're not thinking, we know. Coleman, oh, at least we're going in the out the wrong way. Yeah, that's the only way, right? Oh, one way that way, hey. Okay. Oh, oh, we can't go this way? No. Nope, are you. <laughs> Folks, we'll have to edit out the cursing. But anyway trucks staying at the wayside and we're taking the prius the rest of the way this is an off-road prius <laughs> i got worried. the off-road edition so we're good i may not be worried gearing up in the lot folks the prius made her the cummins did not make it unfortunately but we were able to fit all of coleman's extra tampons and panties in the prius and pills Don't we got the good stuff are. <laughs> Trout medication, yep. aka spawn. So I got the GoPro, I got batteries, I got the camera with the card in it. Got spawn, got gear, got a rod. I even got my uh, super dope uh, quasi sexual uh, Ben Holt style fingerless gloves to wear today. Are you even wearing fingerless gloves, dude? They go old mason jar, because that's how the real ones are. Yeah, I don't think we really need to bring all that with, dude. Well, I definitely need to bring my meds and everything else. Bye, dear. Morning, mama dear. Look at, look at her cat. Popped up. Yeah, she's old. That is an older deer, probably. I can't believe you're starting with a chartreuse, dude. Man, can you imagine a first drifter? It's gonna be a first drifter for one of us. Doesn't happen out here very often. Hey, come on. Nice. I gotta get the footy, dude. So you're kinda on your own. Look at that. Oh, jumper. Nice hot one, folks. I was just about to dunk when you got that one. I was literally about to tell you, I was like, <coughs> you're like, I'm going to show you where the team is. And I'm like, I'm going to show you where the fish are. <laughs> just finesse them. Here's my pity fish for blowing a wheel bearing this morning. Get him out of there, dude. He's chasing the fish out of my hole. <laughs> Drag him to shore, you guy. And I'm not willing to get in the water, so bring him right to me. <laughs> dude, get down. 
Okay, okay. Coleman says we gotta get serious about this. The first fish of the day be a good omen if we get them in the bag. First drift, you can't make that up, folks. How does that make you feel, Coleman? Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That's why you drive up here. Huh? Four hours in an ice storm this morning. Guy deserves a first drift. Blew a wheel bearing out. There we go, drag screamer. <laughs> drag screamer, baby. He likes it. The footy was a lot better from up top, so that's kind of why I wanted to stay up there, but. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the camera down and just net them. Focus on getting them in the bank here, so get them over. Come up soon here. Every time I say that, just drag spools. On a chartreuse bag, true story. A little chartreuse. This is why you show up late. The early bird is cold. Okay, the folks have seen you play it out long enough. Bring them over. Bring them over. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, man. What are you fishing there? Eight pound. Eight pound. Eight pound. Nice looking. Is that a? Is that about a 25 inch head there? Or what do you think it's gonna be, Coleman? Not legal. Well, I think it's about a 25 inch hen. It's a good time, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you don't seem to be excited enough for us, buddy. Guy oh, catches dude. too many steelhead. Look, he's got a smile, but he's not really losing it like I would be. First hey, drift man, of the day. Taking it all in. You're the man, buddy. Usually the guide lets the client take the first cast, but no big deal. <laughs> Guess I'm the guide today is what that means. Just, ooh, nice colors. Nice colors. I'm gonna sneak attack her. Oh yeah! Just that a beauty. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Now I can get excited, it's in the bag, man. Look at that, huh? First drift of the day, baby. Literally. That, that's it right there, like. Oh, there's probably too much ice to stick your nut inside of. Look at that thing. Just your cookie cutter steelhead. Just a beauty mama. Can you probably. actually hold her in the net and I'm going to get the camera out? Let's see a... how. She's probably 23. Yeah, Come 23, on. 22, 24, 30, somewhere in that range. I don't know. Beautiful I'm going to give you the net and I'm going to get my good camera for a pick if you don't mind. What's that? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Well, nice man. job, buddy. Tell the camera what happened, Coleman. So, buddy said he'll show me where the seam is. I told him where all where the I'll show him where the fish are. Andy. I'll show you. I was fishing. Kind of lost the words here right now. I was fishing all the way over there in that seam. I just made my cast about a minute after Coleman started drifting, and his went down about two thirds of the way across the river. Dropped right about there. Just where I said it would. How about it? Nice job, buddy. Yep. Here we go. Good start to the day. Okay, let's see if I even record it. I honestly don't know how to use this thing really, but let's see. Yeah, dude, that was solid. Come on, there's like six of them down there. Got a nice drift going, real nice drift. I'm really nice to get off the sides, I don't see if it's there. So. What a nice guy, you know? Pick a guide. Oh, look. My nut was floating down the river. I didn't even know it, and I caught it. That is crazy. Look at that, folks. We wow. didn't even know your net was gone. That would have been down two hundo right there. Absolutely known for this. Yeah, I got two adrenaline jack too. Oh. I think I just hit the bottom. I moved down deep for that run. Oh, that's a, that's a nice brown, dude. Woo. Let's get it. That's a brown trout spot, like, religiously. You know, we cut a nice brown out of there last year. Look at that, baby. There you go. Nice chrome head. How What's you feel up? about that, buddy? Right Boom. Add a post on that. It's got a little kit. Add a post kit. Just on him today. A lot oh, of pity yeah, fish. Dude, that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
show them off to the world here. Just a oh, we're pretty... not gonna be able to show the camera the part where I drifted that thing like 20 times. Oh man, just look at gorgeous. that beauty. That thing's got to be 25, 26. Oh yeah, that's probably real 26. Long, long skinny one. Long skinny head. Beautiful. I'm gonna get the. Uh... I almost thought it was a male at first, dude. I was like, eh, it's not really. Another I chartreuse, scared, dude. I, like, dude. I just a... put a chartreuse on. That's what they're hitting today. We got the least of them. No, he hit a, tw a pink one, and then I switched over to chartreuse, and he hammered it. So, it's all about that finesse. Little bags, little hooks. 15-pound line. It's going to fix and fix you with them, dude. It's probably 26 inches. I'll give it that, maybe. Nice. That's probably like a dinker rainbow though. Keep in mind, I did not get a good hook set. Woo! Get the other camera, dude. It's in the bag over there. Oh, he's going way back down. You turn the on off, there's a slider on the right side. Right. On off, and then you press, it's in camera mode, and you press this button. How do you zoom out? Well, about the time I got the camera figured out, I think we're ready for a net job. How's it going, Dylan? Really good. I got the blood flowing. I'm loving this, folks. I'm absolutely loving this. Dragging you up into the sticks. I can net on myself on YouTube, but I gotta get on Test out the new 11 foot six. I feel the pull all the way over to me from there. Where is he? Where is he? He's coming up. Oh, he's going back for another one. Chartreuse bag, baby. <laughs> the color of the day. You have to go back to the car and get the vial. I thought she was done, so I came down and did the one hand. This Michigan style handle, folks. You want to get one of these Michigan style handles. Now I know what it's all about. Oh, he's in the brush. Not good. I gotta go out there and get him. Nope, he's out. Come on. Come on. I want to put him in the net now. We're done playing games here. He's going in the net. First one of the day. Oh. <laughs> the steel had decided when he goes in the net. <laughs> I just need to choke up a little bit, and now I'll have him for sure. Oh, look at him pull line. He's still doing another run. Is it flashing red on the screen, a red dot up in the top? It's just got a red dot. Yeah, okay, just recording. I might have to get your help though if I can't get him this time. I don't want to lose him. Oh, this is awesome. Cannot do anything. I feel like I should loosen the drag a little bit even because he's pulling it pretty hard. Probably. Got 10 pound mono, 8 pound meter. It just deepened it up, put a chartreuse on because Coleman kept pulling fish out of my spot. The chartreuse. This big rod is so awesome. My hand's getting clear though, I gotta go back to two hand. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can, you can come over here now. Just a little more pressure. Come on, right to daddy. 
Awesome. Okay, folks. Let's have a look at it. That. What a gorgeous fish. Wow, that's at least an inch bigger than Coleman's. <laughs> you think that's 26, dude? That might be legal. Look at the kite on that thing. Dude, I'm jacked for you. I'm so jacked. Look at how deep you ate that chartreuse bag. You just hammered it. There's no way he was coming off unless I really did something wrong, dude. Yeah, just wrap him up, buddy. Yeah, that's a nice buck. Nice. Well, nice. we're going to handle this, get a few picks, and we'll get a release video for you. You good? Yep. Some at home footage for your That's so awesome, friends and fam, man. right? That's three nice trout already this morning, folks. Took the day off work. We came up to the Mighty Bro River, paid out, drove through an ice storm. It took us four hours and 15 minutes to do a three hour drive. Coleman blew out a wheel bearing. Had to ride the Prius the rest of the way. It's paying off though, man. Let's get another one. See how much footy we got left. <laughs> 